stillness, exuberance, intoxication. If these three things happen within you at the same time, life is like a breeze. Mm. No matter what is the situation, every day there are situations for us. Our activity is global and all kinds of troubles because we don't subscribe to any particular... See, we don't subscribe to any particular religious group or philosophical group or anything. So just about everybody is against us one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. We don't ascribe to any political group. So po political groups are... Everybody thinks I'm their enemy. <laughs> Though we've not done anything against anybody. But you grow in size without being aligned to anybody, they think you are their enemy. This is the human mentality. Yeah, so yeah, constantly competition. something going on. So mm -hmm. I created one image. I took two and a half years to design this face. Today it's uh, in the Guinness record as the largest face on the planet. The largest face? Yeah. Yes, this is to acknowledge and also inspire people. Uh, this is the face of Adi Yogi. So when I wanted to design, I set this goal for myself that it should have stillness, intoxication and exuberance on mm. its face. I took two and a half years and we made this internally within our center, our own people, our own engineers. Engineers means not qualified, yeah. <laughs> engineered by me. <laughs> we together created this and uh, that face has become like a huge thing in India. It's a destination point right now. Where is it? I want to see uh, it. See, here it is. Can you make a single large picture? See, that is the wow. face. So... Uh, that's beautiful. You must tell me whether I've succeeded in stillness, intoxication, and exuberance. Mm. Yeah, that one. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Wow. It's 112 feet tall. And um, what did they make it out of? What is it, is it composed of? This is steel. Oh, my gosh. And is it individual pieces that were put together like a yes. puzzle? Yes. Wow. Individual pieces. Now, uh, the second one we did in Bangalore, and that is also of the same size. Now others will come of a much larger size. The idea is to move human well-being from belief system to philosophies to ideologies to technology. Technology is a well-being. This is what Adi Yogi gave 15,000 years ago, methods and technologies as to how you can transform yourself, not philosophies, morals, ideologies methods and technologies. So, though he gave this 15,000 years ago, and in every generation there has been certain number of people making use of it, I think the humanity was never ready like today, that we are willing to look at technology for as a solution for everything. Mm. So, that goes for your inner well-being also. So, how to be well? There is a technology. When I say technology, the most sophisticated technology on the planet is human yeah. mechanism itself, isn't yeah. it? The question is, you have the most sophisticated technology, but have you read the user's manual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, a lot of us haven't. And a lot of us don't even think that they're, it, it's like you, you don't even start to examine the directions, you know? It's like you don't even get to know the instrument. But you're just playing music all day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it ends up being music you just already heard. You're just repeating other people's music, right? Or you're repeating a, you're not really um, learning the instrument or creating your own if song. It's music, it's okay. Mostly noise. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good point. It's a trap of noise.